Meaningful number 10. Put karate into your everyday living. That is how to see it so easy. On the surface, this principle may sound similar to the eighth principle of the Mijuku. Don't think that what you learn in karate cannot be used outside the dojo. However, there is a key distinction. The eighth principle tells us that we must know that karate can be used in everyday life. Whereas, this principle tells us that we must actually use it in our everyday life to appreciate it. The eighth principle of the Nijukun is telling us that karate is not limited to the dojo. Whereas, this principle is telling us that it is unlimited in its application. Whereas, its true beauty is much deeper. That the karate's true beauty lies in its embodiment for good. Humans have no natural physical defenses. Instead, we have the intelligence to create defenses. Among them, the fighting arts. Throughout history, it has been necessary to employ these defenses. However, if we resort only to fighting to resolve conflicts, humanity cannot survive. This is especially true now because we have the weaponry to eliminate the entire human race. Just as we must create other non-violent ways of stopping conflict. Although karate is a martial art, few of us ever meditate on the meaning of Buddha. This word means to stop conflict. The conflict you must stop is not just that which occurs between others. More fundamentally, you must stop the conflict within yourself. Only then can you be truly effective in stopping conflict in the external world. Common mind is necessary to see objectively the true self, with all its weaknesses, that is behind any conflict. And this is the number one rule to interact and improve within. Therefore, what is more efficient than to exercise modesty through the process of soji? Soji is the physical cleaning of the dojo. This is a Buddha Japanese ritual which is performed at the end of each class showing humbleness and humility to reach perfection. ISK at Lebanon has a living example of this Buddhist spirit. Okazaki Shihan, in his first visit to Lebanon, several years ago, missed his flight and was late for one day. As a Buddha Okazaki Shihan, with all serenity and humbleness, apologized to the group for their misunderstanding. The entire group was astonished how Master Okazaki had apologized with an open heart and sincerity, which was a tremendous lesson for our group since this is lacking in this modern world, and certainly here in Latin. Thank you. Thank you.